What is up, YouTube world? I am Ashley D. Before I get started, why don't you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and please feel free to share. I'm also going to say everything I state is allegedly, and it's not a guaranteed fact, just my own personal opinion and observation. Not to mention, please excuse the sound of my fan. I put it on low. I cannot run my air. I want you guys to be able to hear me, but your girl does not like to be hot, okay? Before we get into it, this is the, I'm trying to save whoever from watching the boring show, the end of just being Miss Lyona. Just like we expected, all fabricated, same thing, different day. No growth, nothing's changed since then, okay? Throughout this whole episode, it was like she was trying to prepare us low-key for Mr. Ed coming around. We knew that she was talking to someone behind the scenes because she was so comfortable speaking on it. She spoke on it when she was with her friend at the park while her kids was playing, while her three-year-old daughter was on the playground playing. She didn't push her down the slide. She didn't do anything. Just like normal, the kids were doing their thing playing on the playground and she's oblivious to what's going on she want to have girl talk and it's like her friends the people allegedly that's her friends that we haven't seen anymore all we do is see her with mr wu-tang or the more of a heavier set girl which i'm not knocking that i'm just saying that's i don't know her name but we saw her with her when she's doing something she's the one recording she's the one driving kind of like a little personal assistant so we got a chance to see her in this scene and the people that she was around this time, they did seem a little more genuine, like wanting what's best for her. I could be fooled and I could be wrong, but that's what it seemed like. They were kind of speaking a little positivity into her. And at the end, they did do something that was pretty sweet. They did the dove release for her. And <laughs> I'll get back to that last. I found that very sad and funny at the same time and i'll explain to that why okay but at the park like i was stating them sitting down and she's talking already about she hoped that god sends her a new man that's understanding why are you focused on a man right now you are a mother of four and the, the least thing should be on your mind as a allegedly DV victim. And you're, you're so freely speaking on it. And you think we are oblivious to what's going on, sweetheart. We were born at night, but not last night. You are setting the stage for Mr. Ed to come into the picture. You already been talking to this man. And for you... Someone who's supposed to be a DV victim. You sitting at the park, not looking over your shoulders, not looking down, not timid. But you're constantly stating how you have your own voice now. You can be free to wear what you want to wear, do what you want to wear. No, you couldn't wait to be a thought. You couldn't wait to put your kids off on your father. The role you was tired of playing was the role of your lifetime, the movie premiere of your lifetime, acting like a fraud, pretending to be a loving, devoting wife, not being able to dress the way you wanted to after your allegedly mommy makeover. You was burning inside. You was waiting for that true you to appear. It was killing you. You felt like you was walking on eggshells. When someone is not truly themselves, Someone is not who they really are, okay? She came off one way to this man. That's how she got him in. She pretending to be this loving, nurturing, devoted mom. So that hit home for him, someone who doesn't have a mom. So they bonded over that. Not to mention, like I said in a couple other videos, she's lost her mom as well. There they go, trauma bonding. Then on top of that, she pretended to be everything he wanted her to be in that moment. And that right there is what opened the door for him to say, okay, she, I know in the back of his mind, he probably questioned whether or not he wanted to take on this big responsibility. 
You know, someone that already has children. And now I'm moving in with you and the children, someone who said they didn't want any more kids. But they turn around and take on the responsibility and obligations of not just you, but your kids. Whether people say it was early on or love at first sight, he had to truly feel like it was love. Because no one is going to go from plus one to now five. No. Anyhow, someone can love bomb you. Someone can show you all the affection you need. So just overwhelm you with all this love, this sweetness, kindness, tattoos, gestures, ride or die, no matter what, I'm with you to the point of where the little things that you start to question, those little red flags that appear time to time, it gets swept under the rug because guess what? Now I'm love bumming you with something else. Now I'm sexing you up. Now I'm making you happy. Now, okay, you want to go do your skits? That's fine. I'll be right here. You want to do a family skit? Okay, I'm cool with that. She played that role for years. And when someone is not truly themselves or happy with who they are, they are burning inside. She probably did feel like she was a victim of some sort because this woman couldn't wear what she wanted to wear. She had to keep in mind she was with, she had a husband. She had to do certain skits. She had to pretend that she actually wanted to be a mom and spend time with her kids. She had to actually probably go to bed at a certain time with her husband because that's what married people do most of the time, especially with the type of careers they both have, unless he was out of town doing something. But their schedules seemed to meet up because they work together. And sometimes running a business with a partner that understands you, what her problem was when you're married in the Bible, if you're truly going off of what God believes in, you will allow that man to lead. Just like you allowed him to lead when you first met him. Just like he was leading just fine without you. Just like he had stuff going for him before you got there. That's what attracted you to him in the first place. When you sit back and you allow the man to take that lead instead of like he said, She's battled with him over that role time and time again because she's used to being a single parent. I'm going to call BS on that, okay? As a woman, as a single parent, when you have a man, it's, it's a difference, okay? You're going to lead with somebody like Mr. Ed. You don't have a choice. That's a man child. You're going to have to lead because you're taking on another W-2, another responsibility. You're taking on another child that's an adult, so they're more expensive. He wants more toys, but flashier ones that are way more expensive, that that are high value. So, yes, that's the case in that situation. Yes, you're not gonna you're gonna have to leave. And you probably was just fine with that because you can do what you want, dress what you want, say what you want, feel how you feel. Because all you have to do is take care of your man child and he's going to agree with everything you say instead of not hold you accountable, not want his woman to walk around half dressed every time they go somewhere. You won't, like you say, all eyes on free. That's what you want. Instead of wanting to dress like a classy lady, leaving something to the imagination, not wanting your kids to see you half dressed like that. When you dress like that, you're going to attract unwanted attention. And not one time since you've been going through your divorce have you ever dressed fully clothed. And when you have on a shirt, a full button-up shirt, it's half unbuttoned. We see your cleavage. You don't know how to cover up. You're allergic to your clothes. Anyhow, you felt so upset with this man because for six years you had to be a fraud you couldn't be who you truly wanted to be you're conniving naive inconsiderate spoiled felt like you were privileged felt like you are who you are now all of a sudden you get the big head you feel like you're the man you wear the pants like i said it's a difference when you have a real man that's paying the bills that's taking care of the kids, taking care of the responsibilities, 
doing everything that the man as a leader should, then women do not have any problem being submissive to that man, allowing him to take that role. And we step back and we do things behind the scene. That's the difference between a real woman and a little girl or a thought. That's the difference. We do not care. A lot of us out here would love to have a man to say, baby, you want to work? You don't want to work? That's fine. Um, I'll help work on your career while I'm building mine. We're going to live in this beautiful home. The kids are going to be taken care of. Not to mention, we'll work together too at the same time. When you're truly in love, you can't beat that. Your husband get to come home. He not drained and tired every night. Y'all both building on your careers, slowly climbing the wall, becoming successful. You able to take care and buy the things that you would have never been able to do on your own. Not to mention, take care of your kids and you guys live comfortable. That's every woman's dream to allow a man to lead. And a lot of us out here don't have that. So we have no choice but to take the lead. As a single parent, and some females are in similar situations like you and Mr. Ed. I hope and I pray that those females listen to this video and they realize they, their value and they're worth more than that. You are just as good of in deservance of a great man. You are able to be the submissive wife because you should be a wife. You, are, you deserve all these great things. So just never settle. That's all I want to say to that note, on that note. Anyhow, if she can get somebody like Mr. Robert, then you know you can. Except she was a fraud with hers. And she wants to turn around and pray and says, please, God, send me somebody decent. Okay, what? what why would God send you someone right now when you're not divorced? Why are you thinking about a man right now? Did you or did you not say, Mrs. I'm contradicting myself back to back. You wanted to focus on you and your kids first. And right shortly after you started saying all those accusations online, that's when you had that hairstyle, boo-boo. So you was talking to somebody probably, hmm, not even a month, not even a month after you made those accusations. Maybe we should go back to when you had that hairstyle. When you were spinning around and you had those Ugg boots on. That's when you had that hairstyle. That was in the very beginning, if I'm not mistaken. Your focus should have been on you. And I guarantee you, had she taken that time to deflect, okay? If she wanted out of this marriage, that's on her. That's fine. She truly didn't have the pure intentions when she got there, okay? Now she's built herself. So you have to ask yourself this question. Okay, Miss Liana, you could take this role or that role. You got a career path that's built for yourself right now to go forward, to go up. If that's truly what you genuinely want to do, you have it right in front of you. Focus on your brand. Focus on helping other single moms. Be put in a position as you. Get online and show classes to other women on how to be YouTubers, how to be influencer. Do something great. It's enough room for everyone to eat. Spread some positivity if that was your true intention. But it's not. You want to be a leader and a yes man to want everybody around you to feel like that, but you don't know how to lead. Only place you're leading people is to straight in the pits of hell of no return. With your adultery, adultery commit and tell. Let's be clear about that. What are you leading? What do you stand for or stand on? You constantly contradict yourself. You sabotage your brand. You sabotaged everything before it even got started. So now, you turn around and you talk about this man so bad. And it's so sad because you will not be where you are today if it wasn't for him. And then you have the nerve to mention you want to get outside, go outside and shake your tail feather or something like that while releasing a dove in honor of your mom. You cry for a second. Well, 
pretend to cry. Then you say that or something of that nature. And then you pretend to cry back again. You are the worst actress in the world. Please take those classes already. I don't see how people don't see through this BS. Your little series show, whatever you want to call it. It's like a bootleg, something where someone's standing up a camera and they just recording you. You don't even sound like your genuine voice. You don't sound real. You sound rehearsed. You sound like you don't know how to be yourself in front of the camera. It sound like Mr. Robert probably used to coach you and say, breathe, chill, just be yourself. No, that didn't sound right. Let's do it again. I guarantee you that. Because there's no way you've been on the camera for six years, boo, and you don't know how to just play that role, act it out, just be your real self. You know why? Because you've been living a lie for so long. Now I see. That's right. What is your real self? You know what I mean? How can we say that's not your real self? You used to acting. So you've been acting all this time, so you forget what character to be at the right time. However, you don't forget to say something about a man each time you sit down with someone or you're around someone. You can't help yourself. Not to mention, you say you're releasing some dead weight. You get letting go of dead weight. Are you serious? So your ex-husband was dead weight? He was paying the bills? He was pulling his weight? He was taking care of you? He put you where you are now. You're on a TV show because of him. Not to mention the home you live in because of him, the car you drive, and so, so on. I can go on, but you release some dead weight. So that's what you call him? But now you take release dead weight, right? To only take on some more dead weight. That's even heavier than that. Boy, girl, you are so funny and sad at the same time because you are someone's mother you are someone's mother and you think like a kid i won't even say a teenager because some teenagers think brighter than you you it's it's sad you're releasing dead weight wow your people are cheering you on while we're all watching this man Come into your life, you take care of him, you pamper him, you do everything that the man should do for you or a partnership, even if he didn't have it like that. But just like you being the insecure Lyona that you are, you don't mind taking care of that bill. As long as someone is up under you 24-7, one thing I do believe about what you said when you said you told him that... You would pay all the bills. You would take care of everything. He didn't have to do that. What your problem was, sweetheart, he was a child of God. He was battling against that. He loved you for his wife, but he knew something wasn't right with you. He just tried to stick it out because he already put up this image. He was too far gone to walk back. But thanks to you and your tactics and your allegedly lies, you gave this man a way out. And a peace over him that we see every day. While all your people come to drag him to feel daily. Whatever he do. How he eats. How he walks. How he talks. How he dress. Why do you have that on? You look silly. Why is your mentor dressing like a slut when she's a mother of four? Put on some clothes, girl. Do you ever wear clothes? Do you ever spend time with your kids without Mr. Ed? Why isn't no one commenting under her comments like that? But yet you guys have all the time in the world to go to Mr. Roberts page and get on him about the way he dressed and constantly throw this girl's name up in his face talking about she's doing big things. She's doing big things, all right? She's assassinating her character. She's tarnishing her brand. She's taking care of a man, a grown man like it's her child. Yes, she's doing big things in your eye for the moment. You don't know behind closed doors what she done charged on the credit card, how her money's coming in. From what I see and others that report on this, it is a train wreck. Going 100 miles an hour at any moment will crash. And guess who's driving that train? She is. She's driving her own train to her own demise. And it's like she's too blind to see it. But then in the back of my mind, I feel like she don't care. She knows it, 
but she lives in the moment like a kid. She don't think about the now. She don't think about the then. She think about the moment. And that's not how an adult thinks. They think about their kids' college fund and their future down the line and many years to come. They're going to want to build something so eventually it can go down to their grandkids. They're going to want to start their kids at a young age, just like Mr. Robert was with his daughter before she came between that, allegedly, start to get them comfortable on the camera. Not just about her, not just in a funny scene with her real quick, not just with her receiving something from them or pretending to cook around them and be a family, but get them comfortable, do skits with them. So they can build their own pages and own brands up. Miss Liana, you don't think about that? You start that now. By the time those kids are late teenagers, they'll have their own page, their own channel, and they possibly could pay for their own college fund. But you don't think like that, mother. You think about the moment. You don't think about the future. And most importantly, you don't think about their future that you're infecting by the things you choose to do. And then you think God bless you with another man. But at the same time, the devil blesses people too. And that's what you don't realize. You should not have been thinking in that manner without fully healing yourself out of an abusive alleged relationship you should have focused on you focused on your brand focus on your kids focus on getting yourself together mentally emotionally to take on the task of being a single mom but you are the type of person you can't look the man in the mirror you can't own up to your truth because you are a fraud and you like mr Ed, because you can be who you want to be. You don't have to fake it. You don't have to care. You pay him not to give a dang about the places and the things that you lacking in as a mom. Where you lacking in as a woman. Where you lacking in as an influencer. That's why you give him what he wants. So he don't pay attention to that. But let me paint a clear picture for you, Miss Liona. All those material things for the moment now. The things that God has blessed you allegedly with, that doesn't last forever. And he's going to want to return on that. You have not done anything positive besides try to help yourself and take someone else down in the midst of that. You could have cleared your slate and told the truth. And even if you wasn't going to be woman enough and tell the truth because your lie was too far gone, you didn't have to continue to keep up with your lie. It's so many times you could have got out of this situation when you continuously said, we're going to speak positivity. I'm not beefing with him anymore. This and that. You should have just left it like that. Even if you claim allegedly that his sisters and his brother and them were having something to say, which the only time they did was to defend their brother or when you put certain things out about them they didn't have a choice but to stick up for themselves i mean who wouldn't but it's three of them and a few more people like us that see through you that actually stood up for what's right against you and all these people that are following behind you and they seem to not understand what are they following you for what dream are you chasing and what are you actually doing? And what type of mother are you? And what type of mother would do the type of things you do around your children while you're still married? And who will bring a complete stranger into their lives and into their home so quick? You sit up and you give this man child praise for this, for that, this and that. and. He's such an amazing guy, and the kids bond with him so well. I would bond with the kids so well, too. If I allegedly get a Rolex for my birthday, and I go on vacation twice a month, all I got to do is laugh in your kid's face 
pretend to act like I'm having a time of my life and I'm getting all this stuff from my sugar mama? Who wouldn't do that? That's the easiest job ever. His acting career ain't taking off nowhere. Nobody checking for him. They're not even checking for you, boo. Your people just watching the train wreck eating the popcorn. And then when it hit the fan, they going to be laughing. Dang, girl, I saw that coming. How could you not see that coming? All these people that latch on to you now for their entertainment, who cheer you on to do all these things, and you're so naive and oblivious to it, it's not even funny. For you to be this type of mother and turn around and not care about who you impacting and how your kids will view you and what they will see down the line is the most saddest, sickening thing I've ever witnessed. The role as an adult when you become a parent is to parent those kids with good intentions, being decent people, positioning your daughters into one day being decent wives, hardworking women, your sons being decent, respectful young men, being able to know how to treat a woman, to open doors for them, to be gentle to them, to be loving, to be nurturing, all of that. But you're not that type of mother. How can these kids learn that from you when you don't have that in you? You're not expecting that from your partner. How can you expect a kid, a man-child kid, to teach your men, your little young men, how to be a man? What is he going to teach them? What exactly is he doing that's so cool with them besides sitting on top of a charger laughing and dancing to music? And you're recording it like this is the best thing ever. Has he sat down and did some schoolwork with them? Has he went bike riding with them? Did he take them to the barber or did you miss Lyona? Do he do little guy things with them? Do they go to car shows? Do they do anything besides be around you for a split second and go outside and you record? And then you turn around and you guys disappear somewhere and they just exist? Your life is not your own anymore. And I hope that you wake up. And unfortunately... And women like you, they don't wake up. What's your favorite line? I'm outside. I'm outside. And that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to continue to be, out, be outside. You probably have another child or two. You don't learn from your mistakes. You continue to repeat them until the very end. You ride it until the wheels fall off. You don't care. You what? Dolo. You only live once, right? And that would be fine and dandy. You could ride it, I don't care, for 50, 100 miles per hour until it was time. But when you have those kids in the back seat of your ride and you going that fast, at least care enough about them to put their seat belts on and pay attention to where you're going and the direction you're taking them in. I am Ashley D, everyone. I wish you all a happy Sabbath and a great weekend as well. I will be talking to each and every one of you soon. Thanks for your time today. Bye for now.